Are you tired of losing your Dota 2 games? We got a game changer for you. This video is sponsored by Dota Plus. With Dota Plus you can show your in-game stats including GPM, XPM, win rate and a lot more. Win the draft phase by picking the best suggestion heroes and banning your enemy's best and most effective heroes. With the Smurf detection feature, you can now prepare for Smurfs and hero spammers in your games. Download now for free, you can find the download link in the video description. The Aegis of Champions it is a chronicle of greatness, a decade of iconic triumphs carved beneath its crest, a symbol of perseverance that drives the worthy to discover hidden depths, and a beacon of spirited battle, forged to challenge and inspire the very best, to fight for a place at the international, and force a grand reckoning on Dota's biggest stage. Now, after a year of fierce matchups in all corners of the globe, hardened competitors have earned their invitations to join their counterparts in Singapore, where the final pathway to glory awaits. Here, the era of past stars has faded, and a wave of fresh talent has stormed the field. But on this proving ground, the crown is never passed onwards. It must be taken, and the remaining titans fight to prove this is still their day. As eager fans gather around the world to witness online and live in Singapore, there's only one question left unanswered. Sixteen teams battle for ultimate glory. Only one can seize immortality. Who will emerge victorious? The battle begins. Still the Aegis in line for Nisha, so he is not scared. Eventually, Jin Q goes down, and there's the stun follow-up. And Nisha, they're looking for the bear. That's all the damage that Ame has. I mean, to get Lightning Storm just down, he's just going to continue on now. They're looking for a full team wide, potentially. Global Silence is there. Nisha just hedging his bets. GG yeah, is called. Okay. Look how much they're covering him. It's like... Resolution with the double damage, oh. by the way. Nothing to say. He's dead. And a stun onto several 
hero now tuned in for LGD to just start out the fight. Another star breaker, but now Crystal's and company outside the Wukong's command. The glimpse back on the Faith Beyond, and he is dead. Triple kill for resolution. There are all buybacks available for LGD, so she could have to be a bit careful with this. And why? He's gonna die inside his own base. He Sending these illusions in one by one. Hakori. This, the smoke is there again. They got to find an answer. The Lucor again scouted. The smoke breaks. Avatar's connection. Gardic throws out a stun. Good punches from Lumiere. Can they bring down the tiny? They will. See Smile dies. Oh, Analog really? jumps in. Tries to find a couple more. Lumiere looking, hunting. They want to find that PL, but it's not an easy ask to oh, get no. it. Oh, oh no. my God. Homie, that was an illusion. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, that's not how it's supposed to go. Hector, he's shown up now. They have everything on top of him. K1, chase down, Abyssal Blade there. And Beast Coast, they're just too strong. He's revealing himself. He's got a ward on the right. He sees them all. They're thinking about it. Jump forward, spear back, arena down. Get over here. Round two with the refresher. Tim's in. They're catching. They're killing. Boom, they're doing it all. Team Spirit, they don't have the answer. There are still no buybacks. Still dead for a little while longer. They chase them down. Big blast and another one dead. Team Spirit, they're all laid out. It is over. Oh, my. Whatsoever here for GG. It's Duraccio. He'll keep moving forward, trying to find the sniper, but needs to back his way out. Just can't deal with the damage output of Armor at the moment. They did have the refraction chance to play with those who didn't really take any damage. Sturm gonna move in again, but a quick BKB out on Armel this time, ready for it, but instead they found Raven on the TA. He goes down, he center it, he drops as well. But they do have the buyback and now Ace in the backside with the pulverize into the vortex. Burn just setting up. Try. They don't want to let this Roshan go down. Oh no, they're ending. They're ending. Oh, they are ending. They're oh, going to the ancient. Oh, oh, they're going to get a They go. RNG. Can they get a ton? The clip is there. They are moving back to rotate back in. This could be the play of the century as RNG. They're trying. X Nova in big trouble. The pure should drop. Meanwhile, Sonus still going. Yes. In the meantime, goes. He's had enough. He's popping his BKBs right up to the ancient. He goes. Oh, he got a drop. Oh, he could in some.
Oh man, what an arrow to stop that epicenter. So much damage to gain in the fight. OG, oh, any sort of extra damage at this point. Yeah, you can see your bull. Uh oh. A up with the punch, the snowball, the arrow coming in as well. The shrink work is doing its work, but now they've got the pulse, and that's going to be good enough. Fisha, freezing field, but he get just dies too damn quickly. BCM is going to be locked down. Amar goes through, hits the pro strike, only on the one. They're focusing on 33, but he is super tanky, and Skeeter is completely uncontested. One by one, he will just knock down these heroes. Yes, they are. They found the real Yurangi. Can they get the arrow stun? Not quite. He does manage to drop a ganger away to the side. They have the Fisher to stall it up, but at this point, 33 in the back, though. Oh, he's yeah. in the back, and he's going to be able to catch. He's, they spotted the Oracle. Their charge is coming through, and he's already dead. BCM, meanwhile, does manage to grab 33. They've broken him and managed to get through his cloak, but he dropped down into Stone Fort, so he's good. And Skeeter now comes in with a cleanup. A charge on through. Bumping BCM. Gets a bash as well. He's done. Slammed on the Yuragi. Trying to survive, has the BKB running on top of Pichu, now trying to take down Monet. All three cores on top of him, but it's not quite going to be enough. The Static Storm, a good connection to the Spear, they got him! Monet will fall, that's one life, still a lot of exorcism left. And meanwhile, Boxy gets the stun with that rebound. Requiem up on the high ground, keeps chasing down, Monet in trouble, wanting to kill him all off. Does he have enough? He's surviving the little sniper, he's so strong, he's so mad! What did it happen? Sania now turns, they didn't have enough for the second life. That Warcry armor coming in from the Sven completely demolished them. And the root from Bobaka, Liquid, they're all gonna fall. Pichu came, so once you Arcane Blink with an Axe, it's about four and a half seconds. Ori, here. they got him, he's dead. Completely Bad. destroyed. It happens in an instant, soon enough. Aster, they're not gonna give him the time. The four staff keeps Insania alive, but onto the tier four towers now. Aster, the last team in the upper bracket from China. Head on in, Mickey goes with the big ulti. Is it gonna be enough though? XXS pops in immediately, turns to fight, looks for some more. Monet, he's actually not hitting the throne right now. Here he comes. But they move on in, and Monet ready to battle. Heads on towards the Ancient. They start beating away at it. Eyes on the prize, the chain frost back and forth between the two of them. And with that weight of fear, they move away. Another round of it, jump forward, but GG is gone. I want to try and take this fight already. The whispers in, he's having the the shot by the two-man spear onto our TD. Return. They're trying to go for the Stinger. They will be able to take out the CM. K1 on the back lines is going straight for Fly. And it was Spear pushing back up at a Nightfall. Arbet did have a remnant of the ready to get out, but Fly won't escape. Leave a the Nightfall. An avalanche from Chris puts a stop to his DP out. Time for that, you know, that, of course, ensnared through the spell immunity, but. K1 also about to finish up a blood thorn. I mean, he's hitting critical mass soon. Maybe that's also why he's probably like, I'm going to buy an Aghanim soon, perhaps. It, that, that is the thing, that right? You, in terms of these two heroes, who's going to get the money quicker yeah. for their own Ags? It's going to be the Naga Siren if the game continues on for longer. That's mid lane, K1. All, all three lanes are getting sieged. And they, what do you do if you're EG? You've got to do something. They're going to try. Nightfall, he's looking for a raw target. Turns towards Chris. Lotus is up. Must be careful as he holds back on it for now. Tz's in with the bashes. They bring Chris down pretty quickly. That'll be him down the ones. Arbet jumps in. And he's caught out by the spike cameras, but the center just does, does get yours into the air. Rtz is focusing down the Naga Siren. K1's gonna do it. Gonna get fourth for time. Never get the soft bar. He's, he's got the BKB up. Able to charge you with the remnant. Take down K1. Well, look at Come on, let's have a look at inside the base. Rtz, he'll die. Chris just charging into the disco party. Party just destroying them all. Holy crap. And Chris just killed them all. He's a, a hell of a lot short on the gold here. 1,500 gold. He does not have here to get back in on the action. He is it done. They're, they're going to try to hold with the three of them. And indeed, Chris is ready to chase it back up towards the fountain. Oh the Runs down Nightfall, and he's not done yet. He's full HP, and he's got plenty of mana to play with. The buyback comes out from Arbed. As EG, they scramble back towards the fountain. They've got to try and hold and keep their cool here for 50 seconds now without Arteezy. They're going to get mega and there's still the cheese as well on Chris. Oh my god, dude, the damage that he did. They focused fire K1, but they ignored the less for a bit. I mean, there's 12,800 damage. This is at least going to be the mega creeps here. 
time. Can they really slow down Beast Coast for this 30 seconds? I don't know if they can. I don't know if they can. 30 seconds seems like a big window. This Edict is about to come back up. He's got the 25 talent too. The first tier four falls. The second shortly to come. It's going. The H is going. exposed. As Beast Coast, they're looking to close it up. EG, they'll go for one final attempt to hold him back Beast Coast. But they're just focusing the H and EG, there's nothing GG. to be done. GG is called. Beast Coast will be slowing down the Kunkka, not allowing any rotation. So as I say that they may just run mid. Arena is down defensively. Can they take him down? It's a lot of damage flying out and Sin Q. He'll still land the cookie through the arena. Just on the outer edge. They just hold him down, but now nothing to say. He could be in danger. Tims and Skim getting to work. It's the double damage. Actually doing a hell of a lot of work, but Sin Q, he shows up again. They find another. It's Tims. Can he run now? Sin Q really chasing far. Very Plus 5 CM and does not. Meanwhile, Jackie, he's a much bigger target, but a nice rage away, avoiding the boundless strike for now as Tim's is going to TP out of there with the Infest. He's just going to make it. Boom. They will try to set up for this team fight. It's just so rough to see how you get the initiation off before the BKBs, but there it is. They've got the conquer. Nothing to say. He's a big target, but he's going to get out. He's got the BKB in time as Jackie's the one to drop, and now Yopar just gone. Oh, it was such a great start, but they find nothing. Oh, they call. They call. Shot there from Arme, just scouting out Yopage, will hold down the Conquerors. There's your pushback out, they find nothing to say, but he's got the Yule Scepter. Torrent is going to connect them with the Tidal Wave and the Rapture, but it's not going to be it. The Sharpshooter, he jukes it out. Oh, what a juke from nothing to say. Fisher is there, Sin Q locking them down once again, just not letting them get out. Oh! By back, but it's just waiting for a few more respawns. The tier fours are dropping so darn low. They're on to the ancient now, boom. Still waiting for the respawns, but they're not coming in time. They've got to try and rush for this, but the ancient is just completely going down. Sin Q is holding everyone back. Misha's going to be the second kill, so nice pickups for him. Like your best. Uh, Celery. Best Celery. But here comes the initiation from Boom. Look at the first damage. Global Science is there for the Yuragi. Pops the BKB and the Chronosphere. Trying to focus down Celery to start things out. They'll get him relatively easily. Now, Duraccio gets destroyed. Misha gets credit for that, and Boom able to zip away. And Taiga, no hook shot here. Proving to be too strong. Yeah, Miragi. He might use the Aegis here. Nope. Time Not even. is fine. And now a lot of mana is missing from Boom. BZM. I think actually going that Rolling Thunder. Kick. Celery. He's going to be spotted and easily brought down from OG as Ace gets a four stab action. Now the zip in from Boom. This is going to be in a fast bomb. They're going to try to focus down Yuragi. They get him. That's life number one. But the storm is already dead. You can see the upper road Aghanim Scepter from Ace doing massive damage as he secures himself a double kill. But now all on to Duraccio. Gets bashed up. Gets brought down. And it looks like Ace is next on the list. Pops the uproar one more time. Oh, he actually gets a nice boner. A okay. triple kill for him. And the oh! brought down to Yuragi's hand. OG. Glimps back on a Taiga, but the Mega Creeps have come. The zoning is successful. Trying to focus oh, down a beautiful burn strike from Amar. Ice path to fall, but Duraccio with the Requiem from a good distance here, but they're really just working on the illusions. That's what's taking so long. And again, OG, four minutes on the Aegis. Now we have the Deafening Blast. The, the six Meteors come out, burning them in their own fountain. Epicenter to follow. Gaming Glass. Will fall as OG will move on. Ace, the last remaining member of Game is but he's gonna 
drive chase a little bit, but it doesn't seem like they can keep up. In fact, hold that thought. Kataomi with a nice toss back has found Matumba man. This could be the big one. Oh. There's your black hole out from the low ground side. It will get cancelled though by the Song of the Siren. They have at least got Fishman down. Liquid, can they keep going? It seems like they're going to try. Toby, he's the target. He'll get forced up the way, but it may not be enough. They'll just close the gap. Oh, to Kataomi. They want more. Toss in Matumba, but that's going to help Liquid. Matumba's happy to fight. They've even found the Ark Warden. Oh my God. An ultra kill out for Mickey. And GG has called Liquid. Liquid, can they make it in time? They're going to rush for it. There's the kiss. Matumba, he's in, but pure. He's the one to pick the Aegis up. They will not get away with it. Kataomi, he is going to drop his Matumba. He's trying to tank for the team. Buy a bit more time. And now the black hole. Zai, he's only got two of them, but it's set up perfectly. They cannot take a pure. He's trying to man up through it. He does take down one. Aegis is gone. Onto the left rack. They've got Mickey on the Lena. He is going to drop pure. He'll just keep going for more now. As Zai does get caught as well. A full team wipe for Entity. They just, they play it so clean. Liquid, they try to find the flank. They might find a full team wipe here. And this is a dieback on Boxy if he is caught. He'll go for a snowball out, and he is gone. That'll be a dieback. Just you're taking your whole base. That they are. They're going to run after that tier three. Laguna is already out. Hawk is there as well. They've got the undying, but Toby, he's going to survive. Four stuff is out. Maybe until they get Kataomi, but the four stuff's away with the seal totem. He's still running. Pure with the double oh, damage. God. Just rips like a new one. Look at this, Mickey. He's trying to run. The hook's going to save the day, but the assassinate. No. Oh, it's in the fountain. Look at Pure go. He's not done yet. He wants four. What are we aiming, Pure? In fact, they're going to go in. Oh. Hook is there. Boxy, has he set up? Pure, no. The four staffs. He's going to be able to get out once again. They just the can't victory. do life. They still hold on to that final T4. They do jump in again. Matumba, he wants the first life, but the four staffs are there. The Hawk oh. is going to land. He's got the first one. Zai, he's doing it in rage. He's got the black hole. It's going to connect on two of them. Pure is distracted right now. Have they done it? Can Liquid keep defending? Kataomi is going to drop it. They've got the Mickey oh Lena. God. It's all over. There's only one left. It's only Zai. And without the black hole, there's no way they defend this. And three, or do they? Boxy, he's back up. But it's it's two, it's basically two supports against the sniper. Pure, he's got the hand up. High fives all around. They'll kick away the left track. Storm Stormstorper, he might drop it. It's not going to matter. GG's called. We are going to a game number three something about it he can try to sneak his way in with the ice but they need this age to stay away oh. katomi jumps in matumba he does out click them his hands are way too fast katomi in danger you'll stop trying to run will force up to the high ground but the chase is there mickey not done bouncing all across the map the tiny is still alive pure trying to save the day but now he's the one in danger he hasn't got buyback he needs to run the bkb One ward gets placed, one hero gets spotted. Ooh, the wave Gotta bar charges. The cause jumps in, jumps out. Dark Mago pops his BKB. They get a decent initiation with the Crystal Maiden oh, on top oh. of that, thanks to the Sapphire. They're doing lots of damage. The BKBs, though, are allowing them to persevere. Because turning into the Drow Ranger has to keep his distance Ash. from Resolution. The badges are too much. He needs to get on top of the Drow Ranger, but he turns into stone form. Zayas saving the Drow, kicks him across. Because on the hunt, has to wave for him forward. He desperately wants to kill for the man to dodge. Another hit miss. The now the Scythe, now they're turning around, and there it is. KB is up for Nisha now. Now the Nyx is in the trees here from the side. They try and get a sneaky impale. Ravage going pretty down. The pretty decent one, but they can't really focus any one hero down. They don't have the damage now without Slark the Zeus. Hex. And now with the Slark Hex stuff, it's a chain stun combo that will ensure his no death. Dead for 85 seconds. No buyback and Sacred falling as well.
Vortex has pushed Saxa off towards the side. Finally, Ori goes down, but Monet, he's still looking pretty strong. He's ready to chase over towards the Lich, take out another, now turns towards Skinner. Skinner's surrounded here by Asta. It's gonna be a triple kill for Monet. Oh, he's back, baby. I mean, he's up level 14 now, might even get I another grab. I just indeed get another one here, 33. It's ending. The Moonlight Shadow buff, he's gonna try for the TP out, but they found him. They found him, they're gonna be able to take out another Asta. Money, ultra <laughs> kill. Again, this area, it's been a bit of a death trap. Time and time again for Asta. Let's see if it's any different this time around. They get in with the opening over to 33, but 33 pushed out to the side. The fear's there, though. Pushing back the spider, they take him down. Now they'll turn over towards Skeeter. Skeeter, shadow dance the ready, commits in over towards Siamese Cat. Siamese Cat falls. Still, though, Skeeter's gonna yeah, be surrounded. It's done indeed. Ori's in trouble. They'll turn towards him at the side, but oh Skeeter's able to finish him off. Double kill for the slug. There's Tundra. Now back off for now, but Skeeter's still very, very strong. Pounce over towards XXS. He needs help, and he needs it now. Monet trying to get involved in the fight, but he's already been decided. He's got a few raises for her over towards Saxon. But Skeeter, he's just taking them down one by one. Triple kill for him. Astra, they may have got the spider, but they get nothing else, and they lose four. Ultra kill for Skeeter. Here he doesn't have buyback. They will find Gojira, they'll find Stinger. Roly poly, no chrono. Gotta be careful. Jump in, find one. Thinking about running onto Ame, but this fight's getting a little bit weird. Silence connects onto C Smile. Whisper there finds Zing Q. Does get the leap out. Again. These moments as Roche is about to respawn. And four seconds. And unusually, they're in the position. He zips right Ooh, through the good pit blink. Right now. Good blink away. See, so smile just, just ready, but look at him. They just missed it. The tier fours are going down. They need to get back home. Nobody's home at the agent. The fight is going on. LGD might just lose this game while the fight is happening. You're right. Nobody is home. All the creeps, they're pretty strong. Beast Coast gets some help from Love as those catapults are going to bring him down one by one. Vapion trying to stop it. Yes, sir. Do they even get any damage onto the agent in defense of the agent? Whisper moves on in with the birds ready to take it down. A couple more punches is all they need. LGD trying to LGD hold on. still standing tall. They're running out of gas here on Beast Coast. Hoping for something, anything. Bahame. Oh, my God. That one hurt. The taunt, the spear, the connection. Hector trying to survive through this. They've left for a very long time, though. Wait a minute. See, smile. The rest of Beast Coast, are they doing it? It doesn't quite look like it. Hector backs away. Region two. They keep the chase what? going. Another spear. It comes too late. The rage is out. Ame still lives. Faith beyond very low. They're keeping the damage on him to break the blades. Gojiro with the stun. Are they actually doing this? Beast Coast, they find another. Why? Gone. How? That is a rough one. Very rough. Still jump. six minutes, but the big jump no through. Agents. No agents on Shadow Fiend. That's the price you pay. And now K1 Ultra goes down. Whisper's the only one left alive. LGD. They strike back in the biggest way. A lot of their heroes dead. I mean, this tractor. Someone instantly. Hector pops it. Push back on to everybody. The charge comes through. It's a lot of contain. Oh, oh, Another land him. break. Nothing to say. Down low. Gets pulled back in. Do they have the damage? The lasso. Everything trying to kill him, but nothing to say. You ain't taking down this man. Lame's just there. He's just kind of like sauntering in. You know, the music's playing. It's the boss sound. The bass is thumping, and they want more. They keep going. They keep finding him. Yeah, also. Beyond the one up front center blinks in. BKB, nothing to say. Still fine. They're going to TP out of there on one. And ZQ, are they going to be able to kill him? They jump on in. Lasso saved. Gets him away. Couple more punches. Two seconds stun. But K1 can't even hunt him down. The control is there. LGD, they cover themselves perfectly. GG is called. LGD, they're moving on. They're on their feet here. The LGD fans, they love to see it. Again, looking a little bit worse in there. He's
impossible to try and fight into. Oh. Amar, he'll still jump in. They do find the lean of a Foxy. He's in with a double stun once again. Misha, he'll keep the chain frost off, but it's not going to matter. It will bounce around and do nothing as they found Yuragi. BZM, he's going to be able to TP up, but Liquid, they're still onto that tier 3 tower. I'm not sure if OG really wants to decay again. It seems like that's the priority, though, ATF. He can start all he wants. The problem is he doesn't have the backup as he's getting slowed up here. The Stampede, it's already over. All the stacks of hypothermia from Matumba Man just going on to Amar as he's trying to run with the Glimmer Cape, but they keep slowing him down. This Centaur just cannot walk away. His BZM, they're going to try. It might be the last time here for the side of OG to try and give this a crack, but how do they get it done? It doesn't look good. They've got a couple buybacks, but with the racks under siege now, they'll be holding much do here, OG. There's the buyback from ATF. That'll be enough for Liquid. I think all will it be. They'll keep going under the tier 4 towers. It's still a 4v5 situation. BZM is not available yet. Matumba, he's the target. He's got the BKB up though. It's too hard to take the fight. Yuragi in that shadow dance in big trouble. Misha already down. Yuragi controlled up. He is gone. GG is calls. Liquid. What a dominance. Does Lesh can get a good jump? No. There it is. They jump in. Koki was there. BZM. Oh, he was the one caught out. Matumba, he keeps bashing on command. BZM, he's down for 90 seconds. Minute and a half without buyback available on the end, but this could be it. He doesn't have the gold right now. Liquid, there'll be two Raxes up. OG, they are trying to split push the best they possibly can, but the creeps are still in their base. In fact, never mind. Backdoor will kick in. Liquid, they won't have the time to go up the T3 yet, but Amar trying to fight Mickey. Has he gone too far? ATF, he's going to find Boxy. On to Mickey they go. They might have the last track, and they do. OG, they'll find another of Matumba. He got the rupture off. He does pick off ATF. He's got the Husker down, and now the bash is coming out again. You're he cannot escape Matumba Man. The science making it so darn hard to close the gap. In fact, he's even TPing towards the CM, trying to find at least Insania, but the Glimmer Cape. They don't have the detection. Instead, they go on to Zai on the Brood Mother, but Zai, he'll man up. There's the disarm out from ATF. Meanwhile, on the side, BZM, he's going to drop to Matumba Man. Zai still running, just can't get caught. They'll toss him in. ATF still trying his hardest, but it's not looking good. It seems like Liquid, they might have this series in the bag. There's four down, GG is called. GG is called. Liquid, they've done it once again, this time 2-0 against OG. And OG, I mean, they're a fan favorite here at TI-11, but Liquid proving to be way, way too strong here today. They play really well. Coming out, XXS gets the Blink Dagger off. Visage is taking a lot of damage. It's going to be enough to actually get beautiful rolls coming out from oh. XXS. They take him out two for nothing to start this fight. But Ori, stuck inside of No Man's Land, he gets brought down to his knees. Buyback coming out from the Disruptor now. But look, the heroes from PSG LGD are very low. They're going to lose the Aegis pretty much right off the bat as well. Now he's surrounded, pops the BKB, trying to focus down the shadows. Even the Disruptor comes out, but nope. Not going to be enough. Nothing to say with the Slide of Fist. Double kill for Ame. The axe. They can, okay, they're going to oh, sleep the into dark. the storm. Yep, Static Storm is there. Blink Strike as well. The BKBs, disruption. but Disruption buys a lot of time. And he's A-OK -okay as Ori. He's going to get the instant kill on him. Nothing to say. Who does not have buyback? And now they're going to turn this around onto the Primal Beast. This is what's the game. The beginning of the end of game number one as Aster has come back with a vengeance. They were down big time early, but ever since the Blink Dagger came from XXS, as the GG's come out, it was just one. Miami Scat runs into Y. There's the Arena, number one from XXS, because he has the Refresher Orb. Is they're going to delete Jin Q to start this fight, and they find the Snapfire as well. So two very important supports down for PSG LGD. Ame, he's waiting in the wings, but they see him thanks to the Sentry. There's the Refresher Orb. Has the arena, but doesn't want to use it because of the BKB. They're actually kiting him pretty well. Feels like a wasted BKB from Ame in the end. But there's oh. the arena, not quite in range, but nothing to say. Forced to pop his BKB. Look out oh, for the black hole here. Yeah. But there's the tidal wave. Bring a Monet into the black hole. Are you serious? What a combo. And Monet trying to right click a bit, but his right click from Ame are too much. Double kill for Ame, but Ori going to town on Faith Beyond. Ends up being a three for one, but now the buyback's onto Siamese Cat. Ame has to try to reset. He's gonna get oh, the double spear with the shard. Triple kill on Ori. Nothing to say is dead. Will he get the thunder? No. Faith Beyond 
use his blink dagger already is there's the first arena and trying to save his teammate was Jin Q, but he's just gonna die instead. And that's two dead with no buyback. Aster in a 5v3 commanding position in this game number two. Faith Beyond going for the BKB black hole. It's just on or he's still pretty damn good kill, but he doesn't have buyback. Monet, he's trying to go to town with the satanic, able to take out Faith Beyond in turn. Ami gets the Sunder out at the last moment, but now he's completely surrounded. They were, I mean, they were just better this game, right? Oh yeah, there's no need to, no need to dance around it. Let's get somebody caught here. Boxy running in. Up, yeah. Boxy is gonna roll the three man avalanche. And maybe you them follow up from the Twatch buckle as well, but the black hole has managed to catch the two of them. There's no follow up damage though, but Cotton's only just now showing up this fight. It's a little bit too late for that one. He immediately gets a bit of blade. Boxy managed to get out the cheese, but it looks like the top of it is gonna fall. Two minutes dead. Mike, he needs to be able to get some heals up. He's got a minute on the agent, so he's gonna die here. Come back soon. The chain front starts battling around. Oh, control. Tops is over. The chain front. The, front. the double chain front. He's healing pressure, but Makaz is healing up. But that toss has come in. Boxy is gonna come out. Yeah. But the buyback is coming into play now. Thunder have that extra life where Mike do not out. insane. It's gonna fall. That's gonna be three dead with no buyback. Absolute beautiful catch. These two do not have buyback, but they know they have to make some sort of move. The They're gonna try and get the initiation the before they get inside the base. They also kill the creep wave at the same time. Lightrac in trouble. Oh, Spear up against the tree. They try and get the toss away to the side, but the rupture ensures that he falls. Oh, Another no way. Creep. Don't let that creep go. That creep. Yeah. It's coming in. It's gonna be liquid to end the backdoor protection is down. Thunder on top of the throne. Nothing is stopping them now. Push away, Bob. We'll stall things out for a couple arena. of seconds, but it doesn't matter. Stay in that arena. Stay where you are. This throne is going down here and now. Thunder. Are you fucking kidding me? Game one against Liquid. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, there's the hook. The ball. The first snap. They're trying to deal with this ward. And it ends up getting a freebie. Now it's a four versus five. Four versus six with the Aegis. Mickey. Rolling Thunder, here it comes. Mickey leading off the charge. Gotta make it count. Zai getting passed. Matthew on in. You got Bash on the jump. Immediately the Bash going in. And now the Walrus Punch as well. But the BKB, it's running out. Now he's got the Black Hole. But he got Bash again. Oh, that's gonna be a dive back. And Pagaz is in so deep. But Top Man needs it out. His Rage was running thin between Fest and Side of Zai. But now Zai's in trouble. He's being focused down. Zai and Top Man popped right back out. They have the refresher. And they net. It's gonna be enough to be able to finish off a Top Man. But he doesn't have the buyback. Boxy, he's going in. Zai. Get back to the fountain, the Havoc Hammer, pushing him away, but Kha'Zix running ball. him down, the Bloodstone gets on, getting the kill, Rampage on the mid stage, but because Matumba Man got the buyback, he's gonna die once, nobody else, it's just Darth Mako, it's just because, a two the on two, two cores, a blink away, the Rolling Thunder doesn't land, can they escape, does Liquid want to pursue, do they have to, Insania now joining in with them, Dark Mago's gonna try and deal with him, where he can, the freezing field going out, with the Suns, the so much damage with Top of Man with the bashes, Mickey as well. One fire, the up. other to follow. No buybacks. Team Liquid. Well, you have to hit these with the Oh, Sacred goes for it. Immediately the black hole. They're just gonna focus all in onto Mickey, and it looks like maybe got they the got him down. Not enough. All over the side. Swatch will go over the Rolling Thunder off through them. Mickey surviving through it, and now the Marcy dies, and now they get the stun on the Sacred. Now it's he's not dead. Enough. Well, 12 seconds. How much? Can you get in 12 seconds, Liquid? Can you claim top four in five? It's not gonna happen. The throat's not dying fast enough. Dark Lago's up oh, two. just killed him. him in one. Jump back in. Now the buybacks. Now the comeback. So for your the life. throat die fast. 1,000 health. Trying to finish up. The it. Absolutely insane from Liquid. Can you believe it? A tragedy. A triumph. A curse. A miracle, call it what you want, but it is Team Liquid taking top four. Team Liquid.
champion, a greater fire burns. To follow in the footsteps of greatness, to forge a legacy of triumph that survives far beyond our years. The eyes of the faithful are fixed upon them. Roaring legions of passionate fans. Through the throne, die fast. 1,000 health. Try to finish up team like what they did it. Still, they answer the call to battle. Arrow connects. He is chasing him down. It's GG over. GG is called Tundra. They'll be moving the upper bracket final. To endure a fire. Crucible time and time again. Looking like it's over that day. GG secret. They fight to climb a precipice few have conquered, and those who have will sacrifice everything to reach that summit once more. Four teams battle for ultimate glory. Only one can seize immortality. The battle begins.
Tumbleman. Hilsenia. said push their racks, not pause for snacks. Hey, Gabe? No. Hi, it's, it's Gabe and your lane. Um, it's Gabe Newell. Well, we're tremendously excited that we're all getting the Dota 2 community together again. Uh, it's been another crazy year. And during that year, there's just been a lot of incredible Dota played and some not so incredible Dota being played. Uh, you know, but now we're putting on TI-11. I think it's gonna be fantastic. And whether you're there in person at the arena or watching from the comfort of your home, I'm so excited to say, welcome to the International. <laughs> Boca's song 
Gives them a little bit of space, but he's getting controlled now. The Rolling Thunder continuing to proc, and he's dead as well. And now the focus is onto the Drow Ranger. No bash this time around, but Matu finds what he needs. Buyback now into the Drow. Snowball coming in. Walrus punch to follow. How much do they want to dive here? Freezy Field gets canceled. CM has to buy back into the game. Ice Shards, not enough to keep them outside the fountain. So Liquid forcing themselves <laughs> to go for the Mega Creeps. Liquid looking extremely, extremely good. And we talked about the momentum from the last five days. It has definitely continued here today. And on to the throw. And GG is called Team Liquid. Move on. Aster eliminated from TI-11. Yeah, we had no idea what to expect out of this game. So The newest kid to the block, Crystal, is himself for holding feet. against four of Tundra. The tier fours are down. The throat is exposed. They got to get in there soon. He pops the BKB. He starts charging at Tundra, but they just keep their distance. He's going to blow the Wukong command. He tries to hold. He needs 15 seconds. Chrysalis, can he hold 15 seconds for the Magnus to come back and start getting those skewers? How long is this Wukong? He's praying for it to be as long as possible. He needs possible. to be a little bit longer, but he's getting tossed out of it. And now Tundra, he they pounce a, a second round. Buybacks here. Odie coming back in. With Tundra. the song, setting things up. They Demo have the imprisonments ready to go. They're going to focus on this Tusk first. They know this repositioning is so damn bad for them. The and Avalanche on a three. And yeah, the so Embers so. come in. Finishing off the Ember Spirit, a two buyback. They are all in on being able to hit either the best RP of your life, That's Renzo. No. It's denied by the imprisonment. He the tries Astros, to go for the balance strike. He gets the skewer back now, but coming back into play, Chris is not going to be able to do anything. Immediately silence it. That is it. Tundra, they will take this game one. You might get caught. Oh, this would be the worst situation. A two man stun set up with the resolution. Ready to go. Both will fall. Both do have buyback, but there's going to be a third here on the ring. It's 33. Roll on through, stop the onslaught as well. Everything being countered on the Found side of Secret. They've used their buybacks, but they're not going to be able to do much. Maybe they can. Night jumps in, grabs the Drow Ranger, and they do manage to get him. Immediate buyback. Secret trying to reset around this one. Another a beautiful stun from Science. Once again, another two man follow up. Nisha keeping his distance here with the swashbuckle. He's going to roll up to the side. They're going to try and deal with this Nix Assassin. Go, Don Ranger coming in. in. Here comes the stunts. Can they change stun if they burn down a mana? He needs to be able to get off a of Sunder, but he doesn't have an opportunity to do so. Right, he no. A dieback on the carry, but at the same time, oh, the Primal Beast went in, but they couldn't actually deal with the Drought Ranger, who's just in the back line. Throwing away the damage. Lord. Resolution. He will not go down easy. He will not go down without a fight. He finally does fall, but Tundra, it's too late for them. They blew far too much to be able to bring down the Dawnbreaker, and now Crystalis is here to clean up. Right, they buy back man. where they can. Gotta they do done. have the Roland coming on through. That's going to be able to get the change done on to nine. He's dead as well. Three dead, no buybacks. 33, got to be collected, and that is it. GG. Surging for now. Tried this before. They're going to have to lead off with the Avalanche. Tumbler toy over the side to make sure they get the toss. And uh, a very nice pick off for Tundra. He kind of needed two, but Secret, they're going to chase after these guys. The nine. He's got a haste rune, so he may not be able to outrun that rocket, but he can get some serious distance. They're going to try and chase. Oh, what an interception! What a play from Ron. And now in turn, they're going to save each other with the snowball. Sasha with a beautiful Avalanche. Hello, Black Hole. Goodbye, Secret. Beautiful interception there to just turn the fight around. Oh, and one more. Wrap it up. That'll be a team wipe for Tundra. Whoever you want. What? Five man one. Tundra, they're setting up. They got the initiation. They're going to bring down the Dawnbreaker first. The air comes out. He's dead. No buyback there. Zion's trying to disrupt whatever he can. The snowball on back in is going to be able to finish up Zion. The puppy falls as well. Three dead. No buyback. Tundra. Maybe don't even need the Megas. Maybe they just deliver the final blow to Team Secret. Knocking it down to the lower bracket. You'll have to fly it through here on the side. The Got last hole. Now, is he going to be able to sneak it through? Will anybody notice his courier? It's going to slip on by for now. But Megas is going to be claimed. Team Secret. Oh, no. He's been grabbed. BKB does go off. Divine Reaper starts going to work. But you can see they're actually decently tanky. 
Chrysalis has got to get back to it, but he's just going to get blacked out immediately. Divine Rapier picked up. Divine Rapier dropped. And that is it. Tundra are going to the Grand Finals. And an absolute dominating fashion for this Game 3. Those first two games, pretty rough and tumbling the map. Out farm you, out efficiency you. They find the picks. Your lanes collapse. Your jungle disappears. <laughs> that was awesome. Moves in now, finds Puppy's eyes there for the stun. The global afterwards, but Mickey Hardy charged it up. Now the chase, Nisha. Need to back away. There's still Chrysalis to order the side, plinking away. Then the damage, though, the fraudulent and the infest out of there again. So they lose Sai in exchange for Puppy, also oh. picking up Boxy there on the end. Now Mickey. Oh no, needs to get out. TP away. Does he have enough? He does. Sania's there. They've got the jump right at the start. Find themselves two with the spike carapace. Will it be enough global to interrupt? And they get the control. Onto this tusk. Can they find any more? Sai, he can only look on. Mickey has to run away. Crystal is still right on top. The BKB wearing off soon. Insane is there. He can't stop him. Still BKB runs away. Mickey getting that separation of Chrysalis. He goes down. But Tumba Man needs to survive. Needs to do the damage. A couple more hits. He's surviving through it all. The little sniper that good. As Rezzo tries to clean it up. But Mickey comes in, takes him down. Zion, the last one in the fight, left alive. Liquid. They did it to him. That was a frightening fight. Oh, oh, the danger, oh, oh, Mickey oh, oh. Hey, gets caught. BKB, it's not coming out. Mickey is going to drop. That's Aegis. One life. Can they do another one? Rezo is there. He has the roar available. Gets interrupted. Gets caught. The sun strike out. It's not enough damage quite yet. Mickey, four staff away. Get out of there. Zayas tries to control afterwards. Can they bring him down in time? Mickey in trouble. Gets oh, invested. Yeah. The save again. The tornado lift up on the both of them though. Mickey. He's been living through so long, so much, and he's actually going to do it again. Mickey finally gets brought down by Puppy. The alacrity, the damage, but Tumba Man, they want to bring down Chrysalis. A couple more punches, but all these four steps, it's the bane of Liquid. They don't have a way to get him out, but Tumba Man to fall. Sai needs to clean up. He's got to get a couple more of Chrysalis. He gets up to the high ground. Insania brought down as well. The little turret that could. Back at this point, they've got the Wraith Pack, but they find one. Does have the Andis, needs to pop the ulti if he wants to get out of there. Not too much more trouble. Walrus Punch finds the back line, trying to bring down one. Resolution in some trouble. Hit from downtown. Mickey finds another, but there it is, Zayat! He stops him again. The buybacks come out immediately. But Tumbo Man, nowhere left to go. He's going for 70. Sacred. Mickey. They see the grand finals in their sights. They want to claim this here now. Put this game to bed. The snowball is in. Has to. It's deadly. Oh, but look at that damage. This moment when you sense oh, the victory, the Ancients exposed. Do they have enough left in the tank? Liquid, they want to survive. Blows up science, but do they have any more? The Ancient is falling, and with that, Secret are going to eliminate Liquid. They're going to the Grand Finals. They came down from that upper bracket for one series, and they're going right back up. They want that Grand Final chance once more. They want that best of five. And a team, two teams from that last chance qualifier. Truly unbelievable to find them here on the stage. But only one can remain here. Unbelievable. That's the beauty of competition.
Secret versus Tundra Esports. Grand Finals, Game 1. Fight going here, it's not easy, there's no black hole to rely on, there's still tech, straight into the fight, but Chris as he walks for it, Snowball's gonna be there for now, gets him over towards Nisha, they're trying to step back, but Nisha getting off a good amount of damage this Nisha. time, he's on the sharpshooter, cuts in, takes down Zyas, Chris is trying to stand his ground with the dismember, the force nine back to safety, Roshan falling low, Chris was also had to back away, there's 33, he's trying to finish off the Roche, Poppy and Nisha, they're stepping into the pit as well, but nine heads in Snowball, they get the ravage off the same time, Rezo tries to jump in, to steal the Oh my nine, God. He picks it up. Three dead on Secret. They'll take the ages quickly out the hands of Nine. But Secret, they're getting chased back away from the pit. Very much felt like a bit of a last ditch attempt there from Secret. Always playing around each other perfectly. Hook. Trying to get a first rate 33, but he has got the Ravage. Pop it. And now there's the jump on Nine. Just straight in. Takes him out. Rezobi has got the black hole on one to the two of them. But do they have the damage? Chain from down. The BKB is already out from Nine and Skeeter. It was a nice two man black hole, but there wasn't any follow up. And now Tundra, it looks like once again they're setting up for the cleanup. They've got the catch on Tunisia. Bush White will trap him against the tree. The arrow for Snake, it keeps him locked down. He'll try and step back, but Tundra, the four five of them, chase him down. He'll go for the TP out. He won't make it. Everybody dead on secret. Team Secret versus Tundra Esports. Grand Finals, Game 2. Exposed. Look how fast it dies. Are they going to be forced back at all? Fortifications pop. See Nisha. Who's off the Tempest Tunnel? It's soon to come around. Now Nisha's been caught by the Southern Star. It's there. It's there. Dice able to bail the Nisha out. Of that initiation there from Tundra. Nisha wants the beacon. He looks towards Sexton. But Sexton wants the beacon. He turns towards Chrysalis. Disposes there. Crystalis is down. No buyback for him. There's 100 seconds now without their Bristol Rezo, his own BKB to come to, and then he has to back off. Nisha's also going to be so careful, they'll lose Puppy. Two heroes dead, no buyback on them. Tundra, they take a full second set of barracks. They're just back in three seconds, but he's 700 gold short of it. It's all gone. I mean, the way they kill those buildings is way too fast. I mean, the terrifying thing as well is indeed, yeah, Skeeter still with that Aegis, Snaking still with the refresher shot. There's no reason, no need for Tundra to back off. They're looking to close this game two out. And the tier fours fall. Secret. They'll look to smoke up. One final attempt to stop this push from Tundra, but the ancient fall is dying too fast. Looks to jump in. Skeeter will drag back Rezo. Resolution, resolution, trying to get the heal off with the Bloodstone. They'll keep him alive. The hand of God from Puppy will protect him for now. But the Ancient still dying here to the familiar secret. They're trying to push them back, but it's not going to be possible. GG is going to be called. Wow. As game two. Team Secret versus Tundra Esports. Grand Finals, game three. Head into the Sox has got Blake. He's in with a jump. He gets the toss back. They'll get the quick pick on to Puppy. Puppy gets burst through. Rebounded for Zion. So towards Saxa. The stone gaze has been popped here. So secret. They can't come in it for now. Ooh. Oh, you're going to end up tanking the raw down the back of all the illusions. Rezo's going to attempt to run down Tundra with this in mind. But off to the back lines. Nine. Straight in. On top of Zion's controlling the bars. He good bounces here. Off the cliffs. Little Zion's no option to escape. No. Takes him out, pretty much solo, jumps over the swipe buckle, stun will connect, no, nine, he's falling low, Nisha has the damage, they take down nine. Can they chase for more? Got the curse on the 33, Rezo, off the bloodstone, getting that mana back up, he's ready to chase, he's close to the ammo of the beast master, he's gonna be number one for secret, triple kill for Nisha! Only Skeeter and Saxa left here for Tundra, Saxa, he's still on the fight, jumps in with the top, the avalanche under the three of them, they've taken out resolution, there's gonna be a buyback from Zyas, Secret, they're putting everything into holding this fight, keeping Crystalis safe, Nisha, the dragon. so low on mana, he hasn't really got much more, he's still trapped up on the high ground, he's got one more slide of he's fish, he's burning, but Skeeter, he's, he's burning, off the burn for the dragon, 33, kills him off, Skeeter will, will surely die here, can they really get him out? Oh, but they're, they're, they're gonna get him out. Is he really they're gonna, gonna, gonna get, get away? They can't close the gap. Skeeter's oh, gonna live. Try and get in there with the jump on a 33. See if they can take down the big spot for Wiggy in the roar. They're on top of the 33. He's having the BKP on 30. He's alive. He's alive. He's alive. It's oh, too oh, much oh. damage from the Medusa. Nisha jumps in. We'll be able to finish on 33 in return. And we'll see the buyback coming straight away from Resolution 9. He's got a pretty deep here to try and chase down Puppy. 
There would have been a time there for the Rolling Thunder over one resolution. Resolution did buy back for this. He's able to sidestep the iron tie. Nine out for the swashbuckle. Secret that looks to chase, but the back there before the slide fist connects. He's out to safety nine. Now he wants to back in Saxa. Then with the toss go on the side. This is Robin Long down. He's just oh out for a hundred. As Tundra. They'll chase him now. Rezo. God, we're now five back. It's only Puppy and Chrysler. And the arrow. The arrow's there. Tundra catch him out. They're ready to run down this. There's a lack of buybacks on Secret. Secret felt the need. They had to chase to try to get more of the Beastmasters dead, but they get hit with an on spot. No buyback on Resolution. And Nisha, he's 200 gold short. Oh. It's Tundra. They're going to try to get some wrap They're going to the Tundra. Some sort of surprise, but it's two against four. At this push, it's not stopping. Tier 4 is dropping. They've got Secret. a fortification, but still, it's such a long time without resolution, without Nisha, a full minute. And the creeps are coming in top. They can't even cut the waves. As the Tier 4s, Tundra, they're pushing on. Secret, they've got to make their move now. It's going to be now or never. If they want to try and stop Tundra. They gotta just run in. And they gotta do something. The H is dropping. Dundra! They're looking to end inside. Jumps in, but immediately to his death. Crystalis has got the illusions out, but he's surrounded. Taken out. The ancient is exposed. They're looking for the game. Tundra. They're looking the ancient. They'll be a buyback for Crystalis. But surely there's nothing. He's just getting control. to be done in from Secret as Tundra. They're closing it up. The ancient is full. Oh my god. Tundra have done it! The 3 0 clean sweep today against Team Secret Air in the grand final! What an unbelievable storyline! Undefeated! Tundra, unbelievable! And the way they did it, it truly feels like fuck this team! They've, they, they've cracked the code, they've stole Dota! They broke Their it! They approach every single time! They are unstoppable! Even when they get their heroes taken away, they always have some type of substitution. Every single player piggybacking off of each Let other. Go. Unbelievable. Snake Eight, Snake Eight. Snake Eight. Nine. 20, 26 teams in 10 years, and he finally claims it. Ladies and gentlemen, the OTI Thunder 11 champions. Esports for the international. Incredible moments here. As you said, a team that's worked so hard throughout the year. They've had their highs, they've had their lows, but they come in at their best when it matters the most here international fault. Last year, they weren't able to make it this year. They proved everybody. They proved to everyone how good they truly are. It's incredible play across the board. Some of these players, you've seen them time and time again over the years, as you said, through different teams. I mean, a lot of them individually, the other pros, they've always known that these players, they've had it in them.